Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration a reading for the Aquarians. In um, the month of December, I want to say to each and every one out there, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'm wishing you guys a wonderful, wonderful, positive, positive uh, energy vibration for the last month of the year, 2017. So, okay. Um, there's a lot of changes. I'm going to be doing a lot of changes because um, we need to have a variety of changes, and this is where we are going to start. I always do my changes a month before or something like that. I want to say welcome. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the donations that you have done. Um, and I want to say to each and every person out there, remember, if you are in need of something, the angels to call upon this month is Archangel Raphael. It is a month where the veils are thinner and you are going to have um, an energy vibration of Archangel Raphael. This angel is going to come in and help with healing and abundancy. Okay. So at the end of the reading, let's see what else is going to come out for you guys. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for supporting my channel, the old year and my old subscribers. I want to thank you so much. And for my new subscribers, I'm hoping that you will stay with me. And I want to say to each and every person out there, um, no matter what is happening in your life, love is the most important thing for you guys. This last month of um, December is the month of hair. So it's going to be good for all you hair signs, so all you Aquarians. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful energies. You have the quest of the mental coming in to help you Aquarians in this month of December. Please remember to do donation to the church. Um, you can find the website to the church because I think we finally build the website for the church. So you can still do donations to the church because we're still looking for help for the homeless and the unfortunate people. So please remember to donate. You can also um, donate um, clothes or food. Um, to this church on if uh, you wherever you are you can donate uh, something to look up if there's a church or an organization that is looking for donation make sure that your donation is going towards the right things okay so you Aquarians have the hair energy of the quests okay the quest of your mental so a lot of people um, in the last month of December which is this month is going to be and it's going to be a wonderful month for you guys it's only that um, you have the energy of uh, um, water beginning the month so it's going to be the energy of water beginning the month for you is carrying in a sort of an energy so we have the month that begins with water hands with water in the the middle weeks uh, um you have because in this month we have four weeks and uh, in the middle of the week uh, you have the energy of fire but now we're focusing on you aquarius readings and we are going to look at what you have to deal with in this um month so i hope you can see the cards very good um okay so we're going to begin with the first month the first month we have the energy of uh, um uh, the first week we have the energy of the nine of uh, cups and this said fulfillment of your wishes and this is going to be wonderful so there is going to be a fulfillment of your wishes that is happening in the first week and what we have here is also the energy of the four of cups that is happening in your week so this is wonderful uh, fulfillments of your wishes are coming in and the energy of the four of cups so this is a wonderful good celebration it's a celebration this energy of the four of cups uh, it is uh, more of a celebration it is your fulfillment and celebration that is happening this is good because um 
your accent card is going to be the energy of the star and this is wonderful so the energy of the star is a wonderful situation which you can expect that all your wishes and dreams will be coming out in the first week so if you were a bit worried about how that is going to look with your financial situation um, in December it is going to be good because a lot you Aquarians carry the energy vibration of the star this energy of the star is saying communicate with your angels and guides your um, the, the, the power that governs you and you will receive all the abundance that is there so um, your wishes and dreams are going to be um, coming out so there is no need to worry about whatever it is that has been occurring for you in your life this is a wonderful positive energies as we look at the second week another wonderful card we have the energy of the materialist uh, material and successful uh, um, um, the material and spirit and um, spiritual prosperity um, so this is good and let me put my glasses on um, materialistic and, and, and spiritual um, prosperity is coming in this is another wonderful energy that is coming in in the second week it's going to be good for you Aquarians and then we have also the energy of temperance the energy of temperance is that you have to deal with um, someone who is a Virgo okay um, temperance energy is also for some people you need to have temperance in um, um, situation that is going to be happening in your life which is going to be very very good whatever is happening for you in the second week it's going to be very positive for some people it could be a week where there is a lot of um, um, a week where there is going to be a lot of uh, um, uh, information that is coming in um, information that will be coming in um, a lot of talking a lot of people who will be be recognition coming in for a lot of people so this is good a lot of help is coming in the six is always a materialistic assistant that is coming in the energy of temperance is assistant that could be coming in from um, people who are the Virgos and this is a very very wonderful so this is um, very positive uh, whatever way you look at it it is a very um, positive situation that is happening in the two first week and recognition will be coming in for a lot of people because we have the energy of the star and the energy of uh, um, good um, conversation so um, a lot of people will be um, be conversing and there will be good conversation because most of the time good conversation is recognition that is coming in for other people you have to find um the balance with the energy of the material world and the spiritual world this can be affecting you because it's materialistic things and spiritual things that are coming in we're moving on to the third week which is not uh, um uh, one of the most positive but yet still it is the duality that is working in the third week and we have movement choices and decision so some people will have to deal with uh, um, movement uh, meaning maybe in the third week you're going to visit people in a uh, family um, that sort of a thing in the third week and then you have choices and that sort of is um, uh, to make whether or not you're going to visit your family or that sort of a thing and some people will have decision you know am I going to stay at this job am I going to move on what is it that I've decided to do so the third week is a flow of duality and it's always whenever there's movement it is um, a flow of duality whatever is a choice that you have to make you have to choose between um, two different things and whenever we have to make decision so is duality is the energy of the number two some people are going to realize why this choice 
of movement of duality that is going to happen is that you have found out something that somebody tried to steal something from you. Somebody tried to take something that wasn't theirs. And this situation is going to be happening for you because you're going to, um, find out that someone try to take something that was not to, um, for them. And you're going to see what has been happening and what has been playing out because uh, we, um, it's going, there's going to become an end of a situation. Okay. This energy of, of this cross is always the end of burdens and the end of because you know here the seven of sword is always the energy of someone trying to get away with something because as you look it can be santa claus Clancy Claus is actually stealing something because there's this man looking through those windows <laughs> okay i'm sorry but it's kind of funny this picture if you look at it so um it's santa claus but it is actually somebody who's dressed up as santa claus trying to steal something so whatever it, that this person was trying to do it's not going to happen because it's as if the cross the universal energy and um the universal angels and guides is coming in to stop this um um this uh, you know this um horrible thing that somebody tried to steal something from you because that if you look at the faces that man it's not really santa claus is someone who's trying to steal something whatever happened in the third week there is going it, it was something of destiny it was something that um needed to happen it was a karmatic situation that needed to end and it is going to come to an end so whoever what that was trying to steal something this is really going to come to an end because it's as if the universal angels and guides are going to come in and bring this situation to an end as we look at the fourth week the last and fourth week we have the energy of the five um, of a um, materialistic thing in the reverse and it said financial and materialist um, material changes it is in the form of reverse so this energy is saying to you whatever that materialistic things that was taken away from you will be returned because it is in the reverse form in the upward form is as if you're out in the cold um, you have no idea how to go about how to find uh, your way back and uh, you're going to find your way back because it's as if an organization came in or um, a group of people came in to help you and this is something that has to do with government authority and that sort of a thing so obviously they saw that something was of injustice something happened that was injustice and they came in um to help you with the situation so as you look at this whatever that was stolen to you will be returned and this um second energy is um an organization or um gr a group of people or um a social group of people and it has to do with a government institution and that sort of a thing because it came in twice here and whoever that tried to take something from you it doesn't have to be a government institution for some people it's going to be a government institution but for some people it's going to be that um a corporation have found out that uh, something um was stolen and they are going to return it to you so in the last week um you can see this i don't consider that that this energy um, to be a church. Some people say that it's a church. It's not a church. It is the Middle Even, um, how these cards were done. It is in the Middle Even. It's not a church. It is an organization, institution. It can be a church, but it um, for some people, um, it is actually where um, government authority that sort of a figure in the Middle East and time, it was just only the church. So as I break down your month 
and look across to see um, in the first week whatever your wishes and dreams were they're going to come true um, the four of cups is actually a good st stand your emotion or imbalance which is good and uh, the energy of the star because as you look at your reading like this it's a, it's a very positive reading because you know whatever is happening you're going to be connected with so many aspects and so many good things um for you know for some people good conversation good sort of a thing whatever that was negative in your life whatever that has been stolen from you is going to be returned and the energy of uh, whatever organization institution um and for some people it can be a church for some people it can that and all the organization is going to help you what is so very good is the energy that you have from these and what it is saying is that uh, the universe or your spirit guides your angels are going to be blessing you with something that you weren't expecting and this is going to be a very wonderful so um, whatever is taking place in your life in this month there are good things that are going to come out at the end of uh, the two last weeks um, or not looking um, you know so fun and so fine but not everything in life is really fun and fine so you know life has its experience and we just have to work with it I am going to look and see what is happening in the love arena um, for you people um, so um, take a look at these cards and see the blessings maybe you see something else I love the energy of the star in this deck and that's why I use this deck because the energy of the star in this deck is such a wonderful positive energy and if you look at the star there is CM so if someone out there has the initial CM expect um, spirit guides angel um, um, beams universal beams of light will be coming in to bring you messages okay look cm is in this card i'm not sure if some people can see it it's right here cm is in this card um so if your initial is cm expect um a message from the universal angels let's see what's in the um first week in the the love arena um we have a situation um there is a lot of people that is going to find the inner strength in the love arena um whatever is happening in love for you you need to find the inner strength um in the first week okay and some people are going to have to deal with someone who is an um who is an um, Sagittarius, and you have to find the inner strength to deal with this person as we move on. Um, you have the Hermit in the reverse. Um, whatever is happening, there's a lot of people seems to be having a lot of conversation, but not having the right conversation with the right person. The energy of the Hermit is and have to do with someone who is a Scorpion who's trying to show you. Um, something but you're not looking at it okay so let's move forward so whoever is um, dealing with someone who is a scorpion and um, you are not seeing exactly what this person is trying to tell you and actually this person is there for you and this person is like the beacon to you but you're not seeing what he is saying as we look forward let's look at the third week in love there is going to be um, that some of you are protecting yourself there is a protection of something that is going on because this third week when you look at the energy of this third week is duality and someone is trying to steal something but there comes the end but in love is as if you're protecting yourself from a heart situation from something um, you're protecting your heart from a situation as we look at the fourth week the energy of the lovers comes out and this is going to be so wonderful it's going to be a blessing in disguise so love for you guys uh, you are going to find love 
in the fourth week and the energy of this love this 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 energy of number nine comes up and this is uh, um you know it's as if uh, a surprise so maybe for some people you are going to be meeting the love of your life in um this fourth and last week so this is positive again you have the energy of the star that is coming out for you guys so here you have the star here and you have the energy of the star that is over here some people are going to meet a twin flame and soulmate and this is going to be wonderful this is going to be good because the energy of love is uh, um, very positive in the last week for you Aquarian so as usual we are moving on and we are going to look at the energy um, for the Sun moon and rising sign um, so let's uh, um, see um, the lunar energy which is the moon remember and then we have the Sun energy which is the people who were born um, between the hours of uh, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Okay, so um, obviously um, the sun energy is here. Okay, so we have two. So let's see first what is the effect on the sun energy. So we are going to use the two for first week. I hope you can see these cards um, with the sun energy because I have to like keep on building, building. So let's see what we have for the people for the, the sun sign of the Aquarian we have the Pisces who is coming in to work with you guys which is the psychic the psychic um, section for the Sun people and the other energy that we have is um, Venus so what is happening for a lot of you is that uh, um, for the people who are born um, at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you are going to be having um, the energy of the Pisces coming in and the planet of Venus so this is going to be powerful because obviously the energy of love the star energy because you have the energy of the star here with the Sun energy you are going to have to deal with um, um, the um, Pisces and the planet of Venus we're looking at the moon energy and those are the people who were born at 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. and let's see what energy came out you have your own energy vibration that came out and this is the energy of the Aquarians and isn't this wonderful this is just so fantastic so you Aquarians are going to be really um, being powerfully um, aware of what is happening and then we have the energy of Jupiter so this is going to be lucky for you um, moon people you have uh, um, Jupiter coming in to help you so a lot of good luck in the two last week so whatsoever that was happening obviously in the third week there's an ending and um, um, this is this is actually very good if you look at your reading I think this is a real promising and real something that is coming in because um, if you look at the Luna uh, people who were born in the night whatever um, negative form of uh, situation that has taken place in your life is actually coming to an end whatever negative karmatic situation that is uh, and was in your life it's actually coming to an end and uh, this is going to be good because uh, Jupiter is going to bring you a lot of good luck so this is wonderful so ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you I'm wishing you um, all the wonderful luck in the world and um, this is going to be a positive month for you guys I want to um, let you know that love is the only thing that is real no matter um, what is going on um, I'm back <laughs> yes <laughs> um, no matter what is going on love is going to be really 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 one of those uh, um, this is the month where you can um, ask 
um, your wishes and dreams to be fulfilled, you can start manifest for your birthday because at the end of January begins your birthday. And this is a month where um, luck is going to come in, especially for the people um, who were born between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. A lot of luck will be coming into you, whatever that you were dealing in. Um, whatever situation that was happening for you that was not so nice finally um, endings are going to come in a new beginning um, a lot of you will be meeting your twin flame and soulmate and you need to just look and feel because whenever you meet these people you will know that you have met the right person in your life Again, for the sun people, it's going to be wonderful. You're going to have to be dealing with um, the Pisces and the planet of Venus. So it's love all around. So most of you will be connecting with Pisces people. And, and this is going to be wonderful. It's not really the right relationship for you because you need to have a balance sign. You need to be with a heart sign or a fire sign, okay? Because water and hair doesn't do that well. It's like hurricane, okay? Because hair people um, is better off to be with the fire people or, um, and not really the fire because that is just going to blow things out proportion. But I need to do um, a connection on that. So again, a lot of luck uh, are going to come in, but you know, surprises are going to be coming in for you guys. Surprises, you're going to have the energy of the star and that sort of a situation. And you're going to see positive situation that is coming in, in your life. And whatever that has transpired in your life, whatever energy that has happened, it's going to come to an end and it's going to be positive. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girl, I'm wishing you a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. I want to say namaste until next year.